Brett here. I wanted to show you what the Lemur app can do for the Fractal Audio Axe FX2 using the Axe for Lemur script. So just run the Lemur app and then select the project. And this one, I think version 3099, uh, will connect to the Axe FX through a daemon running on a PC that's connected through a USB port to a fractal audio device. So the fractal audio is uh, processing this guitar. It's just a straight uh, a straight effect. Right now it's called on top boost. So we can go up to the go to the parameters table or parameter page and, uh, and then click through different presets. Up down type the number that you want if you want a specific one and if you want to save a favorite you can press a set favorite and put it in five then go through other ones let's say we wanted to go to uh, high powered which is what is that that's a uh, high watt and we could say set favorite there turn off the set favorite then go back to the last eight and go to the brilliant. Let's go to the let's look at the, the class A15, which is a Vox 15. We can have different we can select different scene numbers, echoes, adding more and more gut to it. And more junk and stuff. Yeah. And I guess that's the works. So let's go back to one. So we can look at the layout of it. So those are all the blocks that are in a fractal preset. You'll see the red ones are the ones that are disabled. The blue ones are, or the cyan ones are the ones that are on right now. So right now we just have amp, cab, and a reverb. Nice and clean. Everything's fine. Uh, if we wanted to turn on stuff like uh, put our drive on it, distortion unit. That goes on. And if we wanted to... Uh, Choose, a, let's say, a delay, turn on a delay, either the X setting of it or the Y setting of it. So in this page, we can add routes. We can, uh, uh, we can insert a block. Let's say we insert a block. Let's say put it here and then put another echo in there. So that would be a delay. And then if we wanted to insert uh, a root, we can hit root. Connect it to here, that'll connect it through. Touch this one for the current one, insert a root, go to the. So we have a second delay now, so I have two delays. So if we want to edit that, tame it down a bit, we could hit edit this block. The, the lemur looks and reads all, all the displayed settings. So on this side we have a an echo, on this side is the reverb. So that's how they've arranged this. There's a selection between uh, the first uh, instance of the delay and the second. So we're on delay two, it says do two, so we can select one. And then this will show the settings for number one, which is a mono, a digital mono, and two. And of with Fractal, you can have uh, 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 different settings for each one of these delays. So there's an X setting and a Y setting. So we set Y, those should be different than X, but we haven't set them up yet. So let's, uh, let's turn off delay two. So we know what we're dealing with. So just to confirm that, we'll go back to the layout screen. Delay 2 is now off. So we go to the delay button on the bottom, delay and reverb. And so we go back to the, the one that's turned on. Digital mono. We don't want mono. I want uh, mono tape, which we can do some funky things with. So let's go to mono tape. And... Now we're on a mono tape. The basic settings allow you to, to do a bunch of different things. As you can set the... So if we wanted to get really funky, we could uh, set the feedback to a little higher.
get it feeding back really good and then change motor speeds and stuff like that. So I So going back to the layout, uh, Fractal is pretty good at uh, uh, simulating or modeling different amps. So on the amp page, if we set edit block and go to the amps, this is a general amp page where we have the standard controls for an amp. Maybe I should turn off the, the echo so we don't have to hear different, different junk. Okay. Okay, just clean. Um, so we have standard stuff like bass, treble, normal stuff that's on the front end of the amp. We can uh, turn the boost on. And if you wanted to set the graphic EQ, and I know everybody's ever, forever has wanted to do this, you can just say, let's say we want to do a center scoop. We just one gesture sets it all. Do a B like a a boogie or something. It's all done in real time. Return to zero. Amp type is a class A, and that one is a box. I put the uh, the manufacturer's name in because they're purposely hidden by Fractal because they have to pay copyrights for them if they use their names, but you know, I didn't. Uh, so you could m more or less select any amp from here. Uh, let's say Spawn. Standard Ender. I guess all of this is tuned pretty high. Let me just knock down the volume a bit. Thank you. 